Hey guys, this is Dev from CG Dev Animation and I'm back with another tutorial. So in this video, we will learn how to create this kind of velvet texture. So you can see that. Let me zoom in. Let me show you the quality of the texture right here. So I'll just drag a portion right here. As you can see that we are getting this kind of uh, texture effect. So we will learn how to do this. Okay guys, as you can see that I have loaded my model. The model doesn't have any texture information on this. And also you can see that there is no lighting information. We are going to build everything from scratch. First thing what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to a website where I want to download my velvet texture. So this is a website is known as texture sharetexture.com so in here we are going to come to the home screen and we are going to type velvet and we'll search it and you can see that we are getting these two velvet textures so you can select any one i'll go with the red one and in here we are going to press download and 4k we'll press open and extract this to the desktop Okay, once we are done that, then we can go to our desktop and we can check out the textures. So these are all the texture we downloaded. You can open them and you can see that this is the texture. Okay. Next thing what I'm going to show you guys is there is another texture which I have already downloaded and I made it tileable. So this is the texture which I'm going to use to get that patchy effect in your velvet texture so you can get this texture in the description as well as if you want to go to google you need to type velvet texture and in here you can come to images and you can search for a nice velvet texture and you can turn this to black and white in photoshop and that is how you can get this effect okay guys so let us get started so before we go ahead with the texturing, we'll start adding some lights. So we are going to use HDR light for this scene. For that, I'm going to go first for the material editor. So first what I'm going to do is I'm going to come under lights. And from here, I'm going to select V-Ray and I'm going to select the V-Ray light and I'm going to create a light like that. Create it anywhere. After that, come down to general settings and from plane select dome okay next what i'm going to do is i'm going to come to the material editor and in here in the search i'm going to search for hdri and i'm going to drag this to the material editor so you can see that by default 3ds max is going to give you a different set of hdri maps to use but in my case i'm going to use my own hdri which i have downloaded from hdri heaven in here you can go to hdri section from there you can come to studios and the hdri which i'm going to use for this project is this one so you can download this once you have downloaded that you can look at that in my case, it is in the download section. So I'll select that and I'm going to select that HDRI. Okay. So, so next thing what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect this HDRI to the dome. So let me select the dome and then I'm going to come under the modifier tab. Then I'm going to drag this and connect this to the map input i'll press ok so right now we can so right now our hdri is connected so let us see this hdri how it looks for that first thing we are going to select render setup and from arnold we are going to make this v-ray next thing for this output size i'm going to select custom and you can give any output size that you like but for this project i'm going to use a 2k 2k resolution so 
2048 so next i'm going to select this perspective and from here i'm going to turn on the safe frames and zoom my model like that next i'm going to come to the settings v-ray settings select this v-ray and i'm going to start the ipr so right now you can see that we have too much exposure in the scene so let us reduce that for that we are going to come under this multiplier and from 30 we are going to press 1 okay so sometimes we also need to rotate our hdri for that we are going to come under material editor let me increase the size so double click on this hdri node and you can see that we have a rotation value so you can slide this and it will rotate like that so rotate this to your liking okay once you're happy with that next what we are going to do is i'm going to turn off the background for that i'm going to select the dome and then i'm going to come to this options and say invisible let me maximize again and you can see that the background will be gone So, so now we have done with the lighting. So let us go ahead and create the textures. So again, we are going to go to the material editor and we'll start creating our texture. So first thing we are going to create two V-Ray materials for the leg and the body. So let me create material, then V-Ray and V-Ray material. And from here, I'll double click this and from custom, I'll select gold. And then I'm going to slide this, select the legs and right click, assign to selection. Then we are going to create another V-Ray material. So right click material, V-Ray and V-Ray material. And from here, we are going to apply this so i'll select the body and right click and assign to material okay so after this step we are going to bring our textures to this material editor so i'll minimize this double click on this velvet and from here we are going to drag our color map and normal map but first we are going to drag the color map and drop it here okay so once we are done that we are going to come to this search and type fall off and we are going to select the second one and drag it like that and connect to our diffuse map okay after that what we are going to do is we are going to come to this mix curve editor and from here we are going to add a point like this and from there we are going to select move button and we are going to move this and right click and we'll select bezier smooth and we can play with the settings to get a nice fall off effect okay once we have happy with that what we are going to do next is we are going to connect our color map so before that i am going to shift hold shift to the map and drag it to duplicate this i'll connect this to map one and i'll connect this to map two i'll double click on the map two like this one and then i'm going to go for the output and i'll click on this enable color map after that i'm going to click on add point add a point select the move tool and pull this top like this perfect 
so before this i have missed one step so let me tell you guys that if you don't have uvs if you don't if you haven't done uvs for your model you need to select you need to bring another node which is known as triplanar node so it is known as triplanar so it is v-ray triplanar i'll drag this i'll pull this like this connect this to texture and this to the diffuse like that by default we will not be seeing our texture as you can see that our texture has become very small so we need to increase the size a bit so we'll double click on the type type planar and from one we can go to 100 now you can see that we can see the textures okay next what we are going to do is we are going to bring our second texture but before that i'm going to bring another node which is known as composite So this is the this is the second node. I'm going to drag it like this, and I'll come to this total layer tab. And from here, you can see that there is a button called Add New Layer. So I'll click this two to three times, three to four times. Okay, like this, we are going to get a lot of layers layers to play with. So I'll move this a little bit. So next, I'm going to bring out my second uh, color map. So I'll minimize this, I'll minimize this and this is the map, I'm going to drag this, drop it like that, okay. Next I'm going to connect this to the layer 1 and connect this to the diffuse and then to use this I'm, I have to connect another triplanar to this map so I'll shift and drag this, remove this node. And then I'm going to connect this to the texture and then I'm going to connect this to the layer 2. This is what we will get. After that what we are going to do is we are going to come to the composite node double click on that and this second layer we are going to make this multiply and decrease the multiplier value to some, somewhere around 60. Okay. Let me take this to back. Okay. Okay, guys, we are almost done. So we have finished our color map. Next, we are going to bring our normal map. So for that, I'm going to go for the desktop. And right here, you can see that this is our normal map. So I'll drag this and drop it like this. Okay. Then I'm going to type here normal. And from here, I'm going to drag this V-Ray normal map like that. And then I'm going to connect this to the normal map. We need another triplanar. So I'm going to type triplanar. Sorry. So this is V-Ray triplanar texture. And then I'm going to connect this to the texture like that. and and from here i'm going to connect this to the bump map so to see if our to see if the bump map is working we are we need to remove the normal we need to remove the color map and connect this and then what we are going to do is we are going to double click on the triplanar and from this and we need to change the size from one to somewhere around 100 we can zoom in you can see that we have our normal map information right here so if you if you want we can increase or decrease this so let me connect back my diffuse map and then I'm going to double click on this normal map right here. We can decrease the value from here or else we can go to the main material. Double click on that. Come to map. 
also we can decrease this from 30 to somewhere around 20 okay 20 should be enough okay guys so you can see that we have got our main velvet effect texture right here you can see this okay so from here what i'm going to do is i'm going to do is i'm going to make this texture look more nice for that i'm going to pull out this setting like this and from here i'm going to add a film filmic tone map like that okay as you can see that the texture is started looking very nice so next thing what you can do is you can play around with the sliders okay like this you can play around with this or you can also add a exposure and play around with the contrast exposure like that and once you're happy with that we can check out our texture okay guys so once you're happy with your texture you can go ahead and render this out so let me go to the render setup check everything so the so the resolution is 2k okay that is fine and in v-ray and in v-ray tab the image sampler has to be bucket and the bucket image sampler size has to be 6 and the color map has to be exponential okay and in the gi tab we i need iridance map and in an iridance map should be low and in the render element i need v i need v-ray denoiser and that has to be nvidia ai okay so after that i'm going to hit this render button right here okay guys so render has been done as you can see that let me zoom this so this is what we get okay and you can also play around in photoshop a little bit to get even more nice render than this okay guys so i hope you liked the video and i hope this was something which helped you Thank you and I will see you in the next video. Hey guys, this is Dave from CG Dave Animation. Before you guys leave, I just have a small message for you guys that if the video was really helpful, then please go ahead and give a like and also do subscribe to our channel. So till then, stay creative and keep learning.